We're learning new details tonight in the case of a missing Connecticut woman. More charges are now expected for her estranged husband and his girlfriend who were arrested over the weekend. 50-year-old Jennifer Dulos was reported missing on May 24th. She was last seen dropping her kids off at school in New Canaan. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin joins us with the latest developments. Caroline? Well, Shannon, this is a story that has really gripped the nation. A Connecticut woman, a mother to five children, missing for 10 days. Today, her estranged husband and his girlfriend faced a judge in connection with her disappearance. Where is she? Where is she? Handcuffed and silent. Where is she? They were brought into Norwalk Superior Court Monday afternoon. 51-year-old Fotis Dulos and his girlfriend, 44-year-old Michelle Traconis. The couple was arrested Saturday as investigators continue the search for Dulos's estranged wife and the mother of his five children, Jennifer. One of the things I found myself saying to people repeatedly was that all we can do is hold hands and walk together one foot in front of the other. Sunday night vigils were held for Jennifer Dulos's family. The mother of five was last seen the morning of Friday, May 24th in New Canaan after dropping her kids off at school. Later that night, her empty SUV was found near a park. Monday morning, investigators came home about 70 miles away in Farmington, Connecticut, that they say is linked to Fotis Dulos's construction company. At the same time, he and his girlfriend appeared in court to face charges of tampering with evidence and hindering the prosecution. These charges come after newly released arrest warrants, detailed surveillance video of Fotis throwing away trash bags in Hartford. Police say those bags contained traces of Jennifer Dulos's blood. They also say officers who responded to her new Canaan home found apparent blood stains on the garage floor. She represents no danger to the community. Monday afternoon, neither Fotis nor Traconis entered pleas. Their lawyers asked for reduced bail because neither has a criminal record. Um, that bond is be posted at the courthouse. But a judge ordered they both be held on $500,000 bail. And police say additional charges are likely to be filed. An attorney for Foti says he does not believe his client will be able to post bail, but Traconis's attorney says she will be able to. A judge has ordered if she does, she will have to wear a GPS monitor and cannot have contact with Fotis or the victim's family. The pair is due back in Stamford Superior Court on June 11th. I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.